What's up, guys? I've got some plays for you in prize picks for Friday, October 6th. We've actually got a really good matchup in the Big 12 tonight. And if y'all don't know, I'm from Texas, and I have grown up watching the Big 12 my whole life. So I know a lot about the players in this game, and I feel really good about it. It is a really good matchup. When I say that, look, our break-even on these plays that are 10x, if we hit 11%, we'll break even. So when I say I love this play, it means, hey, we probably have a 17% chance of hitting. We're still going to lose most of the time, but we're going to profit as long as we stick to the system and risk the same amount each play. Now, recap last night. I recap all my wins and my losses. Holy cow, man. That game couldn't have gone more perfect. How did Terry Mc, uh, McLaurin not get 61 yards? Everybody went over but him. So 100 to win 1,000 here. 100 to win 1,000 here. 100 to win 1,000 here. I added it up, and I prob I'm, I could have won like 15 grand if he just got one more pass. And the crappy thing about it that hurts so bad is the last play of the game, all Sam Howell had to do was throw it to him. He could have ran out of bounds right there for a first down, picked up our 10 yards, hit all of our plays, and then they could have taken a shot from the end zone at like the 36-yard line. So why wouldn't he throw it to Terry there? He threw it to his tight end. His tight end got tackled about right here. It doesn't make any sense. And it's a weird thing. We'll have to monitor it. But it almost, it almost the only explanation I could think of is that they got into a fight. And Sam Howell is like, fuck Terry, dude. I'm not throwing him the ball. Because he threw to everybody but Terry. Now, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll see. Um, but definitely next week. We're going to be looking for uh, Sam Howell and his tight ends because he was feeding his tight ends even when it didn't even make sense. But normally, Sam and Terry are a, an awesome combination. They've been money for us all season. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to share that story with y'all because I missed out on 15 grand. And you know what I did? I started researching plays for the next day. Didn't panic. I'm not going to, well, I literally couldn't bet extra today because I'm limited. But if I wasn't limited, it's not like I'm going to go out and bet the house the next day to win it back. Stick to the system. We've got some good games on Friday, and we've got a huge slate on Saturday. So just know that Saturday is coming. And, and look, we are going to have a losing – well, we might not have a losing Saturday. But if we could have a losing Saturday, if we have a losing Saturday, do not panic. I know a lot of you all are going to panic if we have a big, bad losing day. Don't panic, man. Just stick to the system. Trust the process. Most of y'all that have been following me all season know this by now. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it, man. Real quick, uh, Kansas State, it's very simple. He's gone over the last four games, this number. Um, and then Ben Sennett's my guy on Kansas State. You could look at Phillip Brooks, too. You look at Phillip Brooks. He's had one big game. The rest, not so great. Sennett, three of the last four, right? And uh, this this game, honestly, I don't know what happened there. I honestly don't know. It, it doesn't. It looks like an outlier performance to me. What I've watched is I've watched him play uh, Mizzou, watched UCF. Senna is a, is a big part of this offense. He's a tight end, but he's a big part of this offense. Now when we go to Oklahoma State, they're a team, and you know I, have to, I want to put this warning out there for you all. My biggest concern with this play is not that it won't hit. It's that Oklahoma State will rotate their quarterbacks, which hurt us a couple nights ago. We've just been having bad luck lately, over and over. And and I and I try not to say we've had bad luck because every losing sports better uses that as an excuse. But for this, we truly have had some bad luck because we've had two plays in a row that should have hit. So Alan Bowman, you know, I first saw him when he played at Texas Tech. He went and he was a backup quarterback at Michigan for two years. I would love to interview him and ask him why the fuck he did that. Why would you go from where you're the superstar to being a backup for two years? Why not go to another place he can start? Now he's at Oklahoma State. I'm surprised he didn't have the starting job going into the season. I think this is his year six or year seven for him. So he's one of those guys that's like 25 still in college playing football. And he's a great quarterback. He's a veteran, older guy. He's got six years of college football experience. Um, he does get injured a lot. But uh, Coach Gundy said he's going to be the starter. And... I'm going to take his word for it. I mean, it's kind of wishy-washy because he said the starter's unknown at first. Then he said Allen's the starter. Um, but Allen Bowman's taking 60% of first-team reps in practice. And then the second and third-string quarterback uh, take 20% each. So 
We would prefer that not to be the case, but if you look at the one game he started, 278 yards, this is like, oh, this is a fucking easy layup of a play. If he plays the full game, it's a fucking layup. Get exposure to Alan Bowman in multiple different ways, okay? Now we're going to get uh, Dazan Stribling. Dazan, hell of a name. And uh, for the last five, he's going off. He's getting, he's getting to 60 yards. He's not getting 100. He's not going crazy. He's getting to 60. But the most important game is this last game where he got exactly 60 yards because that's where Alan Bowman um, was the quarterback. So he got fed there. If you look at Presley here, Presley got nine yards when Bowman was the quarterback. Um, so I'm looking here. Not a lot to choose from, but I like Stribling. I like this four-man right here, and I'll, show, I'll see if I can get down on it. I'll see if I can get down on it. I don't think I will until this 249 changes. So pro tip, guys, the way I got three plays down on that Bears game was if the lines change, they count it as a new play. So we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll try to put it, try to get down on it. So my limit is $1,000 per player. So the most it would let me is 100 Yeah, so not yet. But if you guys go move the lines for me, I won't get the best number, but y'all move the lines a little, um, hit these four, I'll be able to throw down on it too. I'll check, you know, a few hours after this video is uploaded. And then um, what I wanted to do is actually real quick, let me show you the arbitrage. On FanDuel, it's 100 to win 579. This is the big thing. Whenever you have plays on a fantasy app, get on FanDuel or DraftKings, put the same plays in and see what it pays. 100 to win 570. So $579 is what you get paid here. We're getting 1,000 here. We're really getting 900 here. So we're getting not twice as much, but just under twice as much on prize picks. That's why over the long term, this can be so profitable. So don't throw in a random player. Don't throw in what you like. Just stick to the system. Take these four. You'll be profitable. Uh, just copying me for a few weeks. You'll watch your money go up. Now, Stan Store. We have, we actually have a new app that we're going to push. It's going to be better. So we got to deal with better, boys. And thank you guys for supporting the channel. Without y'all, I couldn't negotiate these deals and I couldn't get these promo codes. Use promo code SVE on better and they'll double your first deposit $100. Let's slide them up, man, to our second spot on here. Let's slide them up right there in the middle. We'll put them right there. Prize picks. I owe my life to prize picks. We're going we're gonna to leave prize picks right there. But... We have another weapon in the arsenal. I need to put the underdog uh, in there as well. But look, guys, it's about to sell out. I know what's going to happen. Y'all are going to watch this video, and y'all are going to know it's time to make some money. And y'all are going to go try to buy this. It's going to be sell sold out, and I'm going to feel bad. I'm going to feel bad for y'all. But you should have bought it earlier. You should have bought it earlier in the week. I restocked it several times. But you know what? I know we're going to hit this. I know we're going to win. So I'm going to restock it and... Uh, no, it is what it is. We're going to restock it. Let me see. Let me see. We'll restock it 100 slots, okay? 100 slots. I am going to be doing research all day. I've got a very busy day. I'm going to go purchase some rental houses. My realtor is coming into town. We're going to, we're going to uh, go under contract on a couple rental houses. I'll vlog that a little bit with you guys, or I'll vlog that and upload it so that you guys can experience it. Because the goal here, man, it's not just to make money on prize picks and, and make a little money. Make enough money. I don't know why it didn't update. I'll make sure this is restocked though by the time y'all see this video. The goal is to make enough money to where you can buy rental houses and turn these pixels, turn these numbers that are on your phone on the app into actual assets, actual structures that you can charge people to live in. Real estate, rental properties. So. I'm going to help you guys not just make money on prize picks in these apps, but I'm going to help you invest that money. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing, and y'all can just copy it. It's simple. Um, but that's all I've got for you in today's video. I love this free pick. Um, also, be sure to join the group chat, Chalkboard Group Chat. It's 100% free. The link to do that is in the description of this video. And I posted a play in there that was 100 to win 4,000. That's right, 100 to win 4,000. It's in the Chalkboard Group Chat for free. That play is dope, man. That play is going to be crazy. And in the chalkboard, in the chalkboard group, it's a ton of fun. Last night when, when y'all were spamming the 17s, it was one of the funniest things that I've ever seen. And uh, my friends were talking about it today. We're like, dude, that was hilarious. 
So we'll do that. We'll do that again tonight. Whoever we need, we'll spam whatever number they are. <laughs> but dude, we've got a badass community. We've got a cool group of dudes, and uh, thank you guys for being part of the page. Go buy the fifty dollar pass. You're gonna get three plays, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think we have three plays tonight. At least three. It might be more, but we have for sure have three on underdog and prize picks. And then we're going to have a lot on Saturday. Okay. I'm sorting out the spreadsheet. I'm going to type out instructions. Saturday's going to be probably the biggest day of the year so far for us. It's $50, and all the picks will get emailed to you. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching the video. Good luck with all your plays, and I'll talk to you guys in the group chat.